Choices that involve uncertain outcomes can be modeled as lotteries. A general way to model uncertainty is to list all the outcomes that could possibly occur together with the probability of each outcome occurring. Because the list includes all possible outcomes, the probabilities have to add up to one. The outcomes could be events, like a trial for a new pharmaceutical is successful, or that it snows tomorrow, or that a certain horse wins a race. But in applications, often what matters about the outcomes can be translated into a monetary gain or loss. The profits the pharmaceutical company would gain from a successful drug trial, or a city's costs of cleaning up after a snowstorm if it snows tomorrow, or a gambler's winnings if a horse wins the race. Thus, we often think of the outcomes as numbers that represent sums of money, positive for gains, negative for losses. A lottery is a list of the monetary gains or losses that would result from each possible outcome together with their probabilities of occurring. How would a decision maker choose between such lotteries? One way to evaluate a lottery would be to look at its expected value. For example, consider a choice between two lotteries. An equal chance of gaining 10 or $20, or a one-sixth chance of gaining $60, a one-third chance of gaining 15 and a one-sixth chance of gaining nothing at all. A decision maker who uses expected value to compare these choices would be indifferent between them. Though the two lotteries have the same expected values, they are clearly quite different in that the second one is riskier. It has a much lower downside but a much higher upside too. A decision maker may not be indifferent to risk, and using expected utility instead of expected value allows for incorporating risk preferences into decision making. An expected utility maximizer's risk preferences are embodied in his utility function over money, sometimes called a Bernoulli utility function. Because more money is better than less, this utility function is increasing. For example, it might be square root of x. Then an expected utility maximizer would compare these two lotteries by comparing his expected utility. We calculate expected utility by multiplying the utility of each outcome by its probability and summing these numbers. Comparing the expected utilities of the two options, we find that the riskier lottery has a lower expected utility. That is because square root of x is a utility function that exhibits risk aversion, as we will see later. In general, an expected utility maximizer evaluates a lottery by looking at its expected utility, which is the sum of the utility of each outcome times the probability of that outcome. An expected utility function is sometimes called a von neumann morgenstern utility function, distinguishing it from the Bernoulli utility function. The von neumann morgenstern utility function gives a decision maker's utility from a lottery. The Bernoulli utility function gives her utility from a sum of money. So how does a Bernoulli utility function show risk aversion? First, what is risk aversion? A decision maker is risk averse if she prefers just getting the expected value of a lottery to the lottery itself. That is, her expected utility from the lottery is lower than her expected utility from getting the lottery's expected value for sure. Her expected utility from the certain outcome is just the Bernoulli utility of that outcome. Graphically, it is the value of the Bernoulli utility function at the expected value of the lottery. The expected utility of the lottery, on the other hand, is the probability weighted average of the Bernoulli utility of one outcome and the Bernoulli utility of the other outcome. It is therefore represented by the point on the line between those two utilities that is right above the expected value of the lottery. Risk aversion means that the utility of the expected value is higher than the expected utility. This happens exactly when the Bernoulli utility function is concave. If the Bernoulli utility function is convex, then the decision maker is risk loving. If it is linear, then the decision maker is risk neutral.